The long road, the arduous road, the road to success, the road to death, ninja road, boo 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 boo, as you can see, super legitimately, badass team, got your boy, Madara, all dupes Uchiha, got your boy, four dupes Uzumaki, got your guy, um, uh, Killer B, aka the handsome guy, uh, pretty much the first black guy in the anime. I mean, there was like no black people in Naruto until these people came along. And I don't, what I mean by these people, I don't mean uh, uh, black people. I, what, what, I, uh, 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 and then these are just auto teams that are probably pretty good, but I'm planning on not using them. So let's go! Um, by the way, if you don't know that reference, there's actually a. Uh, an old radio DJ named Don Imus who fucked up and said some racist shit. Actually about the... About, um... Like, girls that went to a university. And he basically called them nappy-headed hoes. And everybody lost their minds. Like, yeah, this guy's a racist piece of shit. Blah, blah, blah. And then when he went on the radio show to apologize, he was with Al Sharpton. And someone called him and they're like, oh, you're a piece of shit. Blah, blah, blah. And he's like, you know, you can't do anything with these people. I mean, like, you know, I try to say something and you guys attack me. And, bro, Al Sharpton, this is the funniest shit. Al Sharpton goes, what do you mean by these people? And he's like, you and this caller. And everyone thought he meant, like, yo, niggas, these fucking black devils. You can't say shit. And I'm like, boo, 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 jutsu. Um, but, yeah, there ain't nothing better than a little bit of, little bit of fucking... Uh, racist jacking. That's what gives me energy at the end of the day. And damn, bro, if only my HP could go up. Oh, wait a second. What? How much HP do I get back? Oh! A lot. This no one knows gods here. If you get, like, two dupes, I think, you get, um, 300 HP back. I have four dupes, so I get 600 back, and then plus 200 for Madra. But we get a lot of HP back. That's all I know. Keep it real. I like Sasuke. I think Sasuke's really good. Obviously, he has a four key um, jutsu. He's really good for multiplayer. But this Naruto's god tier, my nigga. Like OT Naruto can't eat my ass. All right, don't kill. Don't tell Kabuki that though. That nigga get tight. <laughs> he loves this guy. <laughs> well, fuck him. Fuck Rinnegan Sasuke. <laughs> Honestly, I like Rinnegan Sasuke. But one thing that's manga about him is his art. Like, if you look at his art, he looks like a fucking stork or some shit with that long-ass neck. Ugly-looking motherfucker. I don't know. I mean, Sasuke's a handsome guy. I'll keep it real, but I don't know. When it comes to card art in this game, I don't know why, but the card art in this game is pretty bad. Like, compared to Dokkan, card art is a lot better. But then again, that's pretty much the only thing that Dokkan has over this game. I mean, it's pretty funny, like, how I've been playing Dokkan for so long. And, like, literally, I don't know what, a year it's been this game's been out. And it has so much more than Dokkan has, or ever will have. I think that Dokkan, it, it's kind of a it's kind of a, a catch-22 because since Dokkan has Dragon Ball Z as its name title, like, no matter what, there's always going to be fuckboy fanboys coming out playing the game. Like, they don't give a fuck. I'm one of them. Keep it real. I, I play the game even though it's getting worse every day, fucking... Leader skills aren't in the game for fucking Gogeta and Omega. Probably won't be in the game for another four months. There's all this weird bullshit that's always in the game. They're always they always handing out L's, and it's expensive as shit. Although this game is expensive as shit too, if you really wanna go crazy. But this game actually gives you a decent amount of um, pearls for free. Like every month, you get at least a hundred pearls at least for free, which is unheard of in Dokkan. You do not get that in Dokkan, my boy. You'd be happy to get fucking. 30 pearls for free a month, which is usually, that is usually the case. I mean, Dokkan has gotten better in that regard, but it's not, it's not the best. It's, it's far from the best. Ooh, Ultra Combo. That Naruto's really good, too, because he can do an Ultra Combo by himself. That's pretty cool. And as you can see, bro, my chakra's already almost all the way up. All the way up. Beautiful. Um, I think I'm going to feed the... Uh, Awakening Stone to Sasuke, because I think I need one or two in order to get his chakra cost down. And for Naruto, I think I need three, I think. I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, Dokkan is, uh, pretty, it's pretty mong. I mean, I don't know why, for some reason, Dokkan has stagnated to the point that it has. 
In my opinion, I think the reason why Dokkan is so shit is because it was one of the first mobile games, if not the first mobile game. I don't know, I think One Piece Treasure Cruise may be older. I don't know if it's older, but I know they're, you know, similar in in uh, date, uh, at least, if not older. Um, and, I mean, One Piece is pretty good, too. I mean, from what I heard, they're, they're not too bad. Like, they give you some shit that's pretty decent. I mean, not to say that Dokkan's terrible, but it's probably the worst banner or summon-based game uh, when it comes to other games. I mean... I think Dokkan, the only thing, like, when you really think about what Dokkan added to its game and what they, you know, what they've done with the fucking milly billy kajilly fucking trillions they've gotten, is pretty fucking retarded, like, it's almost like the development team has done nothing, like, in the two years the game's been out, what they've added is really shit, like, if you ever, like, even the things they add aren't that very good, like, aren't, aren't that very good, damn, that sounds autistic. Um, let's go ahead, let's go down here. I want, I want everyone to group up. Come on, everybody, come on. Come to the middle, come to the middle, that's right. Come to your demise, because I'm about to fucking put planetary devastation up in this bitch. Um, come on, I want everybody. Can I get everybody? Fuck, I can't get everybody? Son of a bitch. Um, but yeah, for example, they added that Dokkan Awakening menu, where it basically shows you who can and cannot Dokkan. And it's fuck. It's really elementary. It's really it's really shit from a development standpoint. It's fucking garbage. It's static images. Like they didn't even bother to have like an object principle where when you go up to one of the items and you want to see like, for example, you want say you you look at cooler right, and you want to click it and see cooler like the card. What does this cooler do? That's not possible. It's just an image. That's really fucking shit. They should have made it so that. That had a little bit of an interaction where on click, it showed you the card. It's not that fucking hard. It's just the fact that they didn't want to do it. Same thing goes with gifts. Like, you, like the gift system is so fucked. It's been like this since the get-go. The only thing they add is that you can accept 30 gifts now. And this is something that Naruto doesn't have, but it has so many other things. It's almost not that big of a deal in the sense that at least they're adding something. Like, for example, when you go to get your gifts... They really should have the option where you can on-click what you want and then accept what you clicked. That way, if you wanted to leave stones in your box, you could do it. If you want to leave awakening medals in your box, you could do it. If you want to leave characters in your box, you could do it. Instead, and not only that, at the very least, at the very least, they should have had fucking dynamic list display where when you click an item and accept it, it doesn't refresh all over again. They should have used fucking Ajax. Like, what the fuck... Why, why couldn't they use, I, I don't understand, I don't, I, I will never understand why Dokkan did not implement fucking, like, dan like, like, it's, it's baby basic, like, I don't understand, I, I would assume the only reason they didn't do it for gifts, possibly, maybe, maybe there's like a security measure I'm not aware of, maybe there's something that, in order for it to work properly, mm, sexy, in order for it to work properly, it would need, um, let me see, can I get both of these, yes I can, uh, in order for it to work properly, it would need, um, need to, it would need to, let's see, what should I do here? I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take an out, oh my god, I hate this trajectory bullshit. Alright, whatever, I'll stay up here, I won't take damage, but Sasuke will, whatever, who gives a shit. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, maybe there's some type of security measure I'm not aware of. That's the only reason I could think of it, because... Like, literally, them having the game, like, oh my god, I can't, so annoying, alright, let's, let's try this, can we, alright, um, like, them having it where you click on, um, your, your item, and then having the entire list refresh, that is dog shit, like, that's, what like, web development 101 is that you never want the page to refresh after some changes take place, like, I don't know what the fuck they're doing i don't know why they're doing that it's really fucking annoying and i really think after two fucking years even if it was a security measure if they wanted to put that out as like the beta version or the first version they should have really changed it to make it dynamic they didn't it's still shit and i don't know why the fuck they did that and now obviously recently dokkan has been in like a deep shit jutsu like just as of late like literally yesterday they decided they're like you know what no more no more leaked images. I don't like that. They decided to basically nuke your boy Hatsama 7. Put the hat on him 7. 
Uh, ooh, nice doubles. Holy shit. Uh, Hat Summer 7. Uh, he basically got nuked. He, he, he leaked a lot of images. He used to data mine. And they nuked his Twitter account, which means they can nuke uh, TLM's Twitter account as well as Renzi's. I mean, shit, they could nuke Renzi's site, which sucks for him because he has a pretty nice website. Let's keep it real. I really like his website. Um, I hope they don't nuke it, but they might. You never know. Um, and now what, what the new juice is is like, basically, I mean, they have the legal right to do it. They can, you know, nuke anyone that puts up an image or anything that's like, you know early, for example, if they were like, oh my god, LR fucking Piccolo, or fucking Piccolo, Piccolo Jr. is coming out, and then fucking Bandai could be like, no, no, I don't like this, I don't like this at all, and they could basically remove that from Twitter, delete your Twitter account, I think the Laughing Man already got a warning saying that if he doesn't stop, they might nuke his Twitter account, which is honestly for the Laughing Man, like, it's pretty funny what he's done. But let's keep it real, like, he drained the fuck out of Bandai Namco. Like, him and Renzi, like, the first world tournament that, like, made niggas lose their minds with the, um, with the, what do you call it? Alright, let's see, let me, there we go. With the, uh, modded, um, world tournament accounts. Hold up, man, look at this, man. Uh, modded world tournament accounts basically pissed off Bandai Namco when those two did that. And then the world tournament after that, your boy the laughing man. Uh, he did 10 accounts that modded and botted for the World Tournament. And he's got, like, a weird, like, fucking rebellious complex. Like, like, I, I remember, like, the reason why he said he did it wasn't just... I don't know, I don't know. Like, the, the way he worded it was, like... He, he was, like, a fucking justice warrior. He's like, listen, Bandai, I played... F I, I paid for my stones before. Paid a lot. I ain't get shit in return. It's an ass-tier company. Even if you go to watch his Dr Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle videos, he says, like... Be careful, don't ever spend too much money on this game. It's just a gambling game, which is true. Let's keep it real. That's some that nigga ain't lying. But at the same time, it's kind of like a weird, almost vendetta type of thing. Alright, I'm gonna use my jutsu just because I'm gonna use it anyway on Kabuto, so why not? Um But yeah, it's it's kind of a a weird fucking like personal vendetta type of thing. And plus, you know, sometimes we'll be out there in the streets trolling and shit. And I don't know, he, he like, he went into a, the thing that I think a lot of people really changed their minds about him. I still like him, he's a pretty cool guy, but I could definitely understand why this may annoy certain people is that I remember for the 20 Stones missions on his website, as a joke, he was saying that he was re-rolling multiple, like, like thousands of accounts and getting the 20 Stones, which technically he could do that, he, I mean, based off the information he has, which is kind of fucked up, it kind of fucks over the player base. And he did it as a joke, and then people got tight. They're like, what the fuck, bro? I'll nuke you. I'll kill you. But the thing is, he took it super seriously. He's like, I'm getting death threats and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, niggas, the internet. The motherfuckers always, that's like a shitty meme is kill yourself. Like, you think these niggas really going to find where you are and fucking kill you? Like, come on. Um, shit. What should, I, should I Should I do my planetary devastation? I think I'm going uh, 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 to do it. Uh, but yeah, so everyone was pissed off at him. They're still pretty pissed off at him. Uh, it was kind of funny. I feel like if he just was like, I'm just fucking around, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But he goes, I had to stop it because I was getting death threats and these motherfuckers were like trying to kill me and shit. And it's like, all right, I understand that's, you know, kind of a little too much. But at the same time, like, you know, these niggas are like finally getting 20 stones a day, which is something that's unheard of. And now that it's getting... Oh, man, can I do my regular jutsu here? That'd be great if I could do my regular... Oh, come on. Shit. If I knew that didn't reach, I would have never done my regular jutsu. Fuck. Whatever. Um. So, yeah. I mean, that's something that I definitely think it would... It, it, it'd be an understatement to say that Bandai and Namco would be really happy to fucking fuck TLM an asshole just because of what he's did... What he's done to them in the past. Um... What the fuck? Since when does this nigga do jutsu up top? Why can't I reach that? Fuck, I really hope Madara can reach it. I'm pretty sure he can. Let's see, we're about to find out. Come on, Madara. Come on, Madara. Look at that ultimate fucking... Oh my god. Mm, beautiful. Come on, Madara. We need you to do the jutsu. Even though it doesn't really matter because I get HP regen anyway. So what the fuck's the point? Um, Let's do this. Come on, you don't reach up there, Sasuke? What a cuck, bro. This nigga, fucking, he's in cuck jutsu. 
Alright, whatever. What, what, whatever. Two more turns and that top will be fucked up. Um, but yeah, so they basically been, Bandai's been going around nuking people. I hope they don't nuke DBZ space. I mean, I understand that he, like, data mines the images and he uses them, but it's not like, it, it's not even that malicious. Like, he doesn't even, ooh, that was a nice double fucking dodge, baby. Uh, it's not even like he's, like, like, I feel like Hatsuma was more of a guy who you went to for, like, these exclusive images. Like, DBZ Space had him, but it never was, like, known for that. But at the same time, you never know. They might, like, Bandai might be holding, like, a grudge because, uh, in the past, your boy Renzi, um, like, had the web play thing, which, by the way, he's really smart to get rid of that shit, because I swear to God, if they had kept that, if he kept that, and tried to keep it going, I think Bandai would have came to his house with a fucking shotgun and just blown his head off, because, uh, I don't think a lot of people, even to this day, even now, really know how to, like, use the proper frameworks and the proper message passing in order to do quest encryption, I mean, shit, I just found about it recently, and I don't even, like, I, I don't even really know how to do it for real, for real, because... I haven't been in this Dokkan Genjutsu in a long time. I've been in a nice interview Jutsu, so keep it real. I'm as ignorant as anyone else. Oh, shit. Planetary. I love this Jutsu. Planetary Deba Station. Bye-bye. See you later. Fucking Shikamaru piece of shit. Um, but, yeah, I mean, regardless to say, I play, honestly, I've played Dokkan so long, and I've liked it for so long, I kind of... This nigga, bro, every time I come here, this guy fucking scares me. Right, how about that? How about you take that, you piece of shit? I use my secret. I still don't know if this guy insta kills or not, but I feel like he does. I don't know. Nice. Um, like I was saying, uh, I still like Dokkan. I'll still play Dokkan, but it's kind of a, a moot. Ooh, rare. This map is actually really annoying. I'm really happy. I got a rare map. I was planning on using my uh, Naruto secret jutsu. But I guess now I don't have to. Damn, that's fucking awesome. I'm going to use Naruto's regular Jutsu because um, I just want to give Sasuke one key. It'll make him it'll make him grow up a little bit faster. Here, look. Let's do that. And look at this. Look at the beauty of Naruto, bro. Nigga gets an ultimate ultra combo just from himself. Like, he doesn't need anyone else. That's fucking badass. Alright, let's do that. Shit, I think that might have killed him. Yeah, it did. Alright, whatever. I, I don't really like stalling anyway. I just want to get my secret jutsus and I'll be good to. I'll be good do. Good do. Oh, fuck me. I hate this map. Alright, you know what? Fuck that. I'll stall a little bit. I'm getting rid of these two fucking annoying bitches. Bye bye, you fucking piece of shit. Bye bye. That's right, you motherfucker. Um, as a matter of fact, this guy's probably going to be here for a while. Let's try to put. Oh! Hold up, you saw how I just did an ultimate with your boy Madra, and he still has Chakra? That's because he's ultimate. His last thing is 20% chance to reduce Chakra consumed by secret techniques to zero. That's really cool, dude. That's fucking ridiculous. Like, what the fuck? And that actually happens more times than not, so that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know what to do. I guess I'll do this, and then I'll put slip damage on him with Madra. Alright, there we go. Come on, just one slip damage. Give me the slip damage. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, I'm pretty sure this guy gives you slip damage too, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's the case. Let's see. How much damage is it going to do? Not even not even enough for me to care. Beautiful. I love it. Um, but, uh, yeah, Delcon's still pretty good. I still like it. I still uh, hope that it gets better. But there's so many things about it that are so shit, non-functional, functional, you know, the, the price is 50 fucking dollars for dragon stones. I know people, like, lost their mind before with the, um, the, what do you call it, the, um, the Pilos treasure trove, whatever the fuck, because it was $20 for orbs. I don't know how niggas could pay 50 fucking dollars for dragon stones. I mean, I guess I could if you, if you got guap like that and you feel like spending it, spend it, but... That shit is fucking, like, that's ridiculous, bro. That's ha that's a lot of fucking money. Let's keep it real. Um, I'm going to go for threes. Three up top, and then Sasuke can go for the three on the bottom. All right. Let's do that. Bada bing, bada boom. And then Sasuke can go for these three. See that? Teamwork. This is what it's all about. Planetary Devastation. Bye-bye. I'm pretty sure that's not even the name, but I don't give a fuck. It sounds badass. Planetary Devastation. 
All right, let's go over here. I'm pretty sure here's safe. Right, yeah, it is. Boom! Bye, my. All right. Uh, I guess I should just use my secret at this point. Why not? Fuck it. Boom! And let's see. Maybe we get lucky with Mother yet again. Maybe we'll get to get a free secret. I don't know. About to find out right now. All right, that's not the case. It's a twenty percent chance, not a hundred percent. Boom! Bye, my. But, uh, here we go. Let's see. Fuck, I keep putting that up. Alright, so it looks like I'm pretty much going to nuke this guy. This is pretty nice. Look at that HP regen. Beautiful. Bountiful. Amazing. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye, Ten Tails, you ugly fuck. Ugly motherfucker. Look at that face. Ugh. Get out of here. Ugly fuck boy. Boo-boo. Beautiful. But yeah, I mean, Naruto Blazing has a lot of features and a lot of things that Dokkan doesn't, but at the same time, I put so much time into Dokkan, I feel like I would never quit that game. Although, you never know. I mean, emotions are pretty sporadic. You never know. Maybe one day I'll fucking just look at Dokkan and uninstall and be like, fuck this. Fuck my life, it's over. Um, but hey, shit's pretty legit. Uh, Dokkan's low-key a piece of shit. Not really, I like it. That game's pretty fun. Let's Let's keep it real. I mean... I mean, Bandai does do some stupid things, and they kind of drain energy, but, eh, for the most part, it's still a pretty good game. Plus, Dragon Ball Z as an IP is fucking ridiculous. Like, that's what a lot of people on the subreddit have said, is that if Dragon Ball Z wasn't the characters and the, you know, the lore and all the bullshit that's in that game, they probably would have never picked it up, they probably would have never stuck with it. Which is probably true for this game, too. This game is pretty good. I'd say, objectively, if you were to look at this game and look at Dokkan... You would like this game more just off the bat. Um, I'm talking games. I'm not going to talk about characters. But then again, you know, like, I probably wouldn't play this if it wasn't Naruto. Like, I fucking, I don't give a fuck about Bleach Brave Souls just because I haven't watched enough of Bleach. And their gameplay looks pretty good too, but I don't know. It's a mobile game. Like, that's not, I don't know. I low-key want to go back in time and stop myself from playing the game so I can get some more bitches. But what's done is done. Thy kingdom come. And uh, that is all. But hey, I'm talking hella shit about Dokkan, but you know next time a Dokkan event drops, I'm playing that shit.